on my way to Angola. Just don't rob me, they know I'm down to die for my chain. What up guys, your boy Quake, and on the last episode of this Chain Robin series, we touched on a G-Unit member getting robbed in Chicago and how they retrieved that chain. And I want to continue with that G-Unit theme because this story is one that went under the radar and it's not very long, but it's super interesting. On September 11, 2007, 50 Cent released his third studio album, Curtis. And after the release of this album, he decided to do a world tour. And this world tour was very lengthy, starting in October 2007 and ending in May 2008. 50 Cent and G-Unit are no strangers to crazy things happening while they're on tour. 50 Cent has always said he'd perform anywhere on earth as long as they paid him. And the truth in that is when 50 Cent and G-Unit performed in Iraq for the soldiers in the middle of a war zone. Fortunately, nothing happened to them at that time. But during this tour run, they wouldn't get so lucky. Before we continue, I want to give a shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for an easy way to have fun without leaving your house, enter DraftKings Casino. It's America's number one online casino with over 300 real money games. I'm partnering with DraftKings on this video to let you guys know about an exciting deal they got going on right now. All new customers who sign up using my promo code Diverse Mentality and make a minimum $5 deposit will get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits. With over 175 slot games for you to choose from, including your favorites and an assortment of DraftKings exclusives, there are endless ways to have fun. If DraftKings Casino isn't available in your state, check out DraftKings Daily Fantasy app where you can win cash prizes all season long. Most importantly, DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. So what are you waiting for, new customers? Head to the DraftKings Casino app right now and sign up using my promo code Diverse Mentality. Make a deposit of at least $5 and DraftKings will instantly match that deposit dollar for dollar for up to $100 in casino credits. So click the link in the description below. Use my promo code Diverse Mentality and let's continue the video. On May 5th, 2008, 50 Cent and G-Unit landed in Angola, Africa, a country with a population of nearly 35 million people and limited resources. When they arrived in Angola, the fans went absolutely crazy. This had been the first time they had seen 50 Cent and G-Unit, and due to the limited resources, no other rappers would perform there. The security measures for artists weren't safe enough for artists to perform, but that didn't stop 50 Cent. That night they performed, the crowd was hard to control. The security couldn't handle all the excitement of the fans. They were severely understaffed, and reports said that fans were touching 50 Cent and G-Unit throughout the whole concert. Despite security being low that night, the concert still went well. 50 Cent then got into performing his track Candy Shop, and this is when things went bad. While performing Candy Shop, a fan ran up on stage and snatched his chain. And immediately, 50 Cent jumped into the crowd and hunt down the person that stole it.
O Vim Vicente se trouxe para alguma coisa. Espetáculo não acaba. While out in Angola, Africa, 50 Cent was doing press runs, promoting his concert, and during the press runs is actually when he was wearing the chain, and this is the chain that got stolen during his concert. According to reports from MTV and 50's own website, This Is 50, this is how things went down. The article says, recently 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, and Tony Ayo were performing in Angola, Africa. Being that security was limited, fans were able to interact with the group on stage. However, one fan had a different motive and bit off more than he can chew as he attempted to run up on 50 and snatch his chain. According to the post, 50 pushed him off the stage, jumped into the crowd, and then all hell broke loose. An unnamed G-Unit insider told TMZ this, that 50 jumped off the stage and punched the man who tried to jack him. The insider also reportedly said the chain is around 50's neck right now. The concert was ended immediately with security trying to hold back all kinds of fans going crazy over what had just happened. 50 Cent and his crew were taken back to their hotel rooms and they traveled back to America the following day. The unfortunate part is that these fans have waited so long to see not only an American hip hop artist, but 50 Cent himself. And for the concert to be ended abruptly because of someone trying to steal a chain, it sucks for their experience. After the incident is what's probably the most interesting part of this story. The following day, the identity of the man who stole 50 Cent's chain was revealed to be Bruno Carvalho. Once the chain snatching footage got out on the internet and his name was blasted all over, his family got worried for their safety. So the guy's own parents decided to turn him into the police in Angola once they heard all the talk on the internet. Police Superintendent Carlos Moda then apprehended Bruno and revealed in a press conference that he would be facing criminal charges for his act. And the most ironic thing about this whole story is 50 Cent and G-Unit were performing at Angola's annual International Peace Festival and with all these things that unfolded, there really wasn't much peace. But that's the brief story on how 50 Cent got robbed of his chain in Angola, Africa. The twist of the robber's own parents snitching on him is a wild twist to a story that I never expected when researching this. But with that being said, let me know if there's a specific chain robbing incident you would like me to cover. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.